Christoph, you're in Hockey Central now this week. <laughs> You've got a team coming to your hometown. Where do your allegiances lie in all? Well, you know, I'll definitely be cheering for uh, for Vancouver Canucks. I, I'm, I'm, I'm always uh, I always cheer for the Canadians whenever they play in the Stanley Cup. I'll be I'll be, I'll be watching the, like, the game at five o'clock today, cheering them on hard, very very loudly, as well as on Friday night after I get some food in me. I'll be I'll be definitely uh, watching the game. What about coming back to Winnipeg? Oh, I'm so excited for the Jets to come back to Winnipeg. That's such a huge uh, huge story for everybody up from Winnipeg. Uh, you know, ever since the Winnipeg Jets died, I've kind of stopped watching hockey. Um, but you know, now that the Jets are back, I, I can't wait to uh, you know hopefully get, get some games in myself when I'm in Winnipeg. You and Munoz peaking at the same time. How important is that? No, that's great. You know, I mean, we kind of had a chance to do at our last fight. I fought in Germany, and a week later, he fought in, in, in Detroit. And, and you know, both won our fights. Both had great conditioning. So it definitely helps when you have a teammate who's who's training conditioning with you, who's pushing you just as much as you're pushing him, training with you for a fight. And we're basically the same size. You know, he's he's well over 200 pounds in the off season. I'm well over 200 pounds. We get to train each other with each other every day. On top of that, with guys like Fabrice Verdum, who has a fight coming up next week, he was our training partner, mate, one of my our main training partners as well. Uh, Emmanuel Newton, another guy who's fighting at MFC, I believe. No, he's fighting in uh, Toronto. Um, uh, he's got doing a show in Toronto. He's fighting um, Bolston, and uh, he's getting ready for his fight. So we had a great group of guys training together. What will you cut? What do you cut down to uh, when you go into training? Well, I usually start around 240 pounds. Um, 235, 240 pounds is where where I walk around at. This is this is you know after a couple weeks of binging and having a good time and not training at all. But then I slowly start cutting the weight. Usually every week I drop. I drop about a pound and a half a week. Uh, so in 15 weeks, uh, I'm down about 20 pounds. So when I get here to Vancouver, to Vancouver, I was about 220 pounds. I got the last 14 pounds to cut. Nice and easy. Do you have any thoughts about Florian? This is going to be his fourth weight. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. I just I was just talking to him and I asked him, how's your weight? And then I went, hold on, hold on a sec. You're, you're fighting at 145. And he's like, no, everything's going good. I'm like, hey, that's great to hear. He's like, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing how a person goes from cuts, you know, four different weight divisions. Uh, I'm very, very, I really hope to see him succeed tomorrow. I mean, on Friday, on Saturday night. Thanks, Christoph. Oh, Thanks, my pleasure, guys. Christoph. Cheers. Visit El Octagono for all the latest in MMA, news, fight results, interviews, live event coverage, podcast, and video capsules. All this and much more in Spanish. Find all your MMA needs here inside El Octagono, the number one source dedicated 100% to MMA in Spanish. El Octagono.com